Ignore that man on the playset. Hello, YouTube. How's everybody doing today? It's late September of 2016. I'm getting ready to take Sexy out for a flight, a nice evening flight. But first, we're going to do a little bit of taxi testing and do a little bit of pre-flight checks. Alrighty, that's about enough of that. Let's get this airplane in the air. So obviously, as you can see, the big difference is I've upgraded the OSD module. This is a Cyclops Tornado OSD. Obviously, you've noticed that it's got an artificial horizon, which is really cool. It's also got a heading indicator up top, which is telling me which direction I'm flying. Uh, the part that I like the most, and is a little bit difficult to tell, you'll notice when I'm looking out over the left wing, right down at the wingtip at the same level as the voltage sensor, uh, you'll see a little red pitot tube sticking out from under the wing. That pitot tube is actually the same thing that a real aircraft uses to measure airspeed. So that pitot tube sensing ram air pressure and comparing it to barometric pressure and that's how it's telling me what the airspeed is. So that 42, 41 miles an hour that you see on the left is actually the airspeed and not a GPS style ground speed which is really cool. It's also really useful because it tells me when I'm getting close to a stall. Although I'm not quite sure what the stall of this airplane is. Altitude, of course, is the slider on the right. And the little arrow thingy there in the center, that swivels around and tells me which way i got to point the aircraft to go home. So up is obviously straight home. And then, you know, distance from home, home being the place where I launched, is uh, center in the bottom. Now, it looks like the shaky camera, you're probably thinking, Ugh, this is all jittery and everything. In reality, the control inputs I'm having to enter are very smooth, very easy. The airplane's doing what I want without a lot of fighting me on it. And that makes this flight so nice. I'm going to have such a good flight right up until the very end. Now... It's dusk. It's what in the movies they call golden hour. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to get great footage, great video footage. It's going to come to bite me when we get to the end. But for now, I am in my glory and I'm just sailing around. So I'm about to shoot a low pass. Now take a look at the depth and color of the landing strip down there, the tarmac. This is where this nighttime or dusk run is really going to start to bite me. Because if you're looking down there, you'll notice it's, it's not easy to get a lot of detail. And that lack of detail is going to cause a missed approach. Right, 
I'm starting to set up for a landing approach right now. Flaps are down, gears down, almost hit the ground, so I execute a little go around right now. And then we're going to line up for the real run shot at the runway. And I'm just fighting to bring her down. She doesn't want to come down. I don't know the altitude. I can't tell how high I am. I realize I'm getting a little bit close. I'm not going to make it, so I goose the power. And she goes wonky on me. I almost hit that pole. And right now, I'm feeling I'm flying sideways. And it turns out it's because one of the flaps has pulled out. And I only have one flap full down, the other flap full up. She's not holding altitude. I can't get any airspeed. The video just jumped right there because of the recording, but I determined that I needed to land this thing. I put her down in the field because I'm just not getting anywhere. And it turns out that I bent the nose wheel and tore that flap loose. I tried to see if I can get her to run herself home. Yeah, no joy. Nothing for it. Time for the walk of shame. Alrighty guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this flight and this video. Have a good one.